kind of put into words what it means to you to have won this 10th Olympic medal? Um, I don't think so much about to win uh, all these medals, but uh, um, I do some years uh, in high level, and, and uh, today was for me a really good race. Uh, that's the most important for me, the medals coming after. Uh, I am. Um, I was really satisfied with the race, that's the most important. I make 80 and was really close to shoot a little bit better. I was good on the ski today and the medal is coming after. Uh, the medals for me was important today. I've been silver because you have Emma in the first. So that's a huge difference because if you have uh, other athletes in the front, that's, that's also nice. So we have um, two medals and that's really important for us. Uh, for Mr. Bjornald, when you uh, left the range for the last time, uh, I saw you look at the scoreboard, and uh, you know, I guess you probably knew how far behind your teammate you were. Did you think that you might be able to catch him? Um, yes, I, I tried to catch him, um, but I know Emil is really strong on the last lap. Uh, I have fantastic skis and good shape today. Um, I was really. really we have 4 km at the last lap and I was a little bit afraid to start too fast on the last lap. Maybe I'll wait a little bit too long. Uh, if I could start a little bit earlier, maybe I can take 3 or 4 seconds more. But uh, 10 seconds was too much. Um, I was 17 behind, 7, 7, 17 seconds behind, so it was too much. But uh, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling it's really strong today, so it was, it was good race. Uh, you didn't manage to overcome the record of Bjorn Pele. And do you plan to try uh, to overcome this record in Sochi, at the Olympic Games in Sochi? Yeah, I go for, uh, for Sochi. Uh, I don't think so much about Bernardi, but Bernardi is the biggest winter sportler in, in Norway and also the, the whole world. So we see what, how we can catch him, but I think we'll take some, some more, more years. Oh, I know you've you've done some training this summer with Emil in camps. Um, did you maybe teach him a few too many tricks that he's beating you now? <laughs> yes, uh, I don't think so because I got a lot of tricks from Emil too. Emil is a good athlete and uh, now he is older and uh, he can learn. I can learn a lot of it from him and and uh, yeah, he, he was the best athlete today and he could do a perfect performance. I'd, uh, I'd now like to welcome our uh, gold medalist from today, Emil Abel Svensson. Uh, welcome and congratulations. Uh, Emil became the uh, fourth biathlete to win multiple medals at the Vancouver 2010 Olympic Winter Games. He claimed silver in the 10 pace sprint on Sunday. Emil? Emil? Uh, could you uh, talk about your relationship with Oleg, please? I mean, how, how you all feed on each other, or if you do, what it's like? Yeah, I can say for certain that I wouldn't be sitting here as, as a gold medalist today without him but because I have, uh, <laughs> when he was uh, in, uh, in Nagano in 98 taking gold, I was sitting at home and watching him as a, as a little boy and uh, all the time since then I, uh, I've tried to copy him and uh, train like him so uh, I don't think I would have been here today without him and uh, I can only say thank you to him. And, uh, A question to Emil and Ole Aina. Uh, what were you what were you feeling during the last three or four kilometers of uh, Novikov? Do you have a fight for your places or what do you do you think at this moment? Uh, actually I didn't see him coming to the finish line so I didn't know where he was so uh, <laughs> I know nothing about that and uh, yeah. I, I actually didn't feel anything during the race and after I was I was trying to lock out all the feelings and, uh, and uh, yeah, wait until the after the race for the feelings. <laughs> I had a time from Amy, so I'm fighting with him and uh, it was a little bit far, but uh, uh, when we come in finish line, we speak with each, uh, each other in the, in the finish line and uh, and we, we was really satisfied with the both both race and uh, the feeling was 
was nice and it was uh, it was not sure it's good enough to to, to win because yeah, Emil had won and I had two and if there's somebody who shouldn't win they were not sure so he was a little bit afraid of what it's happened. We just have time for a couple more questions as the athletes do have some uh, time restrictions so if we can take a question here. Uh, for Mr. Swenson, uh, you seem not very happy right now. Uh, is it just because you are tired or because uh, you wanted to, to uh, get even more high results? Thanks. Uh, I'm very happy. <laughs> I just uh, I don't know what to say and uh, it's, it's a bit difficult to speak, of course. And uh, yeah, uh, that's, that's just the reason I think I'm a little, a little uh, touched.